when you started the program back in the early 1990s, communism had collapsed, um, obviously in the Soviet Union. Uh, we had seen the rise of uh, global trade, the whole mindset of globalization was taking off. Um, why did you feel it was necessary, especially given the sense that communism uh, had, had collapsed? But what, what was it about what was taking place in the 1990s that gave impetus to you to start a program on providing a biblical worldview of economics and, uh, and, market, and the marketplace? It's because I love God. I love the nature of labor, and I saw in it a, a knowing about the nature of God that I wanted to share with as many people as I could find who wanted to share why my father is now at work and he must always be at divine work, quoting John 5. I started the business school because I saw the genius of the concept of labor mm. and what labor produces mm. in terms of the maturation of human beings. Mm. Square one, say I preaching to whoever will listen. Maybe you'll take up an offering when I'm done here. <laughs> when I saw that salvation was the replication of God's life in other beings. That exploded in me in many different directions. And that has been the centering point of everything that I've done in terms of motivation is to try and help people understand God wants to replicate his joy of life uh -huh. in us. And he loves work because work produces change and for us as lesser beings than him work is an opportunity to understand god mm. and it's a way that he has chosen to reveal himself and i i saw that all over the new testament mm. but what hit me especially was matthew 11 come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden you know take my yoke upon you. I have my own version of that. I've got the Peacock Bible in my own head. <laughs> Come unto me, all you that have had the hell beat out of you and you're ready to surrender because mm. I got a really good deal for you. <laughs> <laughs> and the point was, the point of all this, I get excited every time I touch it, is join me in what I am doing mm. because I am working for my father who is now working and must always be at work. Mm. Join in my work and you will learn of me. That's literally what the verse says there in Matthew 11, 28, 30. And I saw that and it exploded. And actually the business school came out of lectures that I'd been doing in the 1987, 1989 period. I did a meeting with business leaders mm. and I would begin the meetings by how many of you want God in your business? Yeah. Raise your hands and everybody raised their hands. And I said, uh, now let me give you some bad news. God's not interested in joining your business. Mm. And that was a great way to start a meeting. <laughs> and they wondered, well, who is this strange guy? And what do you mean he doesn't want in my business? I said, listen to me. God will never be an associate. To get a right answer, you got to have the right question. Mm. What is the right question? I'm going to give you the right question. What business is God in? Mm. And God is in the business of empowering people. Yeah. Why don't we say this? How many of you want to go into God's business? Everybody sheepishly raised their hand and I said, good. We've now got a foundation here. If you bring God into your business, he'll always be second in line. Mm. You got to go into his business where he's first in line and you're actually doing what he is doing, mm. which is empowering people internally in your company and externally with your clients. And that's the foundation of the business school. 
the passion for me was always, I want everybody to experience God on the most mature level they can. Mm. And the way to get to know God by his own statement is go into my job, work with me. Mm. And there's the business school. Mm. What is it about the nature of work that when we engage it in those terms, like you've been describing, that we are able to have such a greater sense of fellowship with God? Why through work? Why not through reading the Bible more or attending church or um, you know, going to a prayer meeting? What is it about going to work that uniquely draws us closer in fellowship to him? I've got to say, great question. <laughs> I have to say it. It's because working with God apprentice, uh, apprentices you with the way God approach, approaches work. Totally strategic from the end to the beginning with empowerment in every dimension of it, with sequence in it because strategy requires sequence i.e. transcendence, rec recognizing what the transcendent issues are in any endeavor. And God is into all that. <laughs>